Open for business? Yes, sir. Come in, I just finished patching my apron. Like it? <laughs> it's so nice, I can hardly take my eyes off it. That's why. I always wondered why people had so much trouble looking at me in the eyes. It's because my apron is too pretty. Or they could just be afraid of your eyes. After all, people do tend to get a bit intimidated around beautiful things. Too bad, because I can tell instantly if I trust someone by looking in their eyes. But if they never look, I'll never know. <laughs> and do you trust me? <laughs> Traveling merchants are much better flirts than regular townspeople. So, will you be eating or drinking? Actually, I'd like two orders of roasted tail packaged to take with me. The cook just left to purchase supplies at the port. I don't have anywhere else to go. There's really no rush. In that case, there's no better way to pass the time than with something to drink in your hand. Okay, might as well. <laughs> it's unusual that a traveling merchant actually stops in for food. Normally, they come by looking for information. I usually pay for both. I was curious about one thing in particular. What's with all the merchants camped out in front of the town entrance? Oh, those are all the merchants who are involved in trading furs this time of year. Is that so? Yeah, it's about the fur. Most of them are the foreign merchants who come from all over to buy fur. And the rest of them are craftsmen who sell tools to make the fur into pretty things to wear. The reason they're all waiting so patiently is because the town council is having its big meeting right now to decide whether or not to even sell the fur. You mean the 50-man meeting, right? That's right. Trading fur is forbidden until it's over. The ban on fur trading means those craftsmen will sit on the money they've saved to buy processing tools until they're sure it'll be lifted. I don't understand why people are so hesitant to sell the fur. I've heard it has to do with the expedition to the north being cancelled. So nobody wants to be first in the market with a large amount. That's business. Like me, my place is usually packed with people at this time of year. I wonder if it'd be okay to sell furs to the merchants gathered outside the town. Hmm? Uh? Huh? <laughs> Those merchants only buy for a good price. Unlike the knights and mercenaries going on expedition. Sometimes they even pay me with beautiful fur clothing that's really only fit for a princess to wear. I make double when they pay me like that. But before the fur becomes clothing, it's relatively inexpensive. If it gets sold before being processed, the townspeople miss out on most of their profits. You're a really smart guy. But I haven't told you anything you couldn't have learned from any other hostess in town. If you repeat to anyone what I'm about to tell you, I'll deny it. Deal. There are about 40 men in that meeting who are thinking about barring the merchants outside town from buying any fur. Even though they know it might enrage the rest of the people in the fur trade. Who gave you this information? <laughs> who knows? Men usually show their appreciation of a bar by leaving good and drunk. Are you sure you don't want another drink? You're definitely putting me in the mood to lose myself. Two roasted tails ready! Okay! Now, I have a question for you. Uh, Do you have a wife? Uh, I'm free to do what I want when it comes to trade. However, she does keep me on a pretty short leash. <laughs> mm. Well, whoever she is, she's the luckiest girl I know. Darn the luck!